ask you about a, a topic that I really I don't know very much about, but I've I've heard you speak on it at least two times, and that was with when you were at the Latino uh, thing, the rape kits came out. Now, as me like a layman, I'm like okay. Someone gets raped. There's a rape kit to gather more evidence in that situation. Um, I feel like why wouldn't we use that? It seemed like a no brainer. So what what are you trying to do with that? And like, what is the opposition for that? Like, why would someone oppose that? So from day one, I've said every single rape kit needs to be tested. And there's a lot of reasons why every single rape kit should be tested. One, because every single survivor deserves the dignity to have their rape kit tested. They have endured whatever sexual trauma and assault or rape, and they've survived it. And then they've gone through a four to six hour collection process, which is very traumatizing, which is super exhaustive. And you put them through this only to put their kit on a shelf and not to have it tested. So that's the first thing. We need to test those kits to bring dignity to those survivors. The second thing is because we know the power and the benefit of testing DNA. You test DNA, you can prevent crimes and you can solve crimes. And so why anybody wouldn't have that as a priority who's been with the district attorney's office for decades is just amazing to me. Now that I'm here on the scene and there's an opponent in this race, now my opponent is saying, oh, I'm gonna test every single rape kit. Mm. Well. I don't really believe that that has ever been a priority for you because you headed the sex crimes unit for years. Mm. So how do you head a sex crimes unit? And the day that I announce, there are over 2,500 untested rape kits. Mm. You know, so it's about keeping it real. It's about what is really a priority for you and what is a priority for your office? Because there is no drawback to testing every single rape kit and yet it hadn't been done until I stepped on the scene and said, DAs, what are you doing and why are you not testing these rape kits? Especially when the federal government gave us the opportunity to apply for funds to deplete the backlog of untested rape kits. This was in 2015 and no one here decided that they would apply for these funds. Recently, we had the really close race in Alabama between Doug Jones and Roy Moore. What was your opinion of that whole situation? Because it's kind of it's like really popular and trendy right now. The only thing I can say is that black women are magical. So, you know, I've been saying this for all my life because I've always believed that. But especially when we see the recent elections and what happened in Virginia, Right. I mean, all credit to black women. We hold down communities. We hold down the church. We hold down the Democratic Party. We are so loyal Mm -hmm. and nothing has shown it more politically than these last elections. And so the only thing I take away from that is that people have to start to get serious about black women. Mm -hmm. And so black women, when we lead, everyone should follow and everyone benefits. Mm -hmm. And so. I know that uh, Mr. Jones knows who to credit for that because it was black women in astronomical numbers. I mean, yes, black people overwhelmingly voted for him. And when you think about the black population there only being 26 percent, but black people being 28 percent of the vote, Mm. they came out. And they made a difference. And so I really hope that that gives us hope. Right. Right. People talk about young people not wanting to vote because they just don't care. If they don't have an issue that they care about, they're not going to come out and vote. Democrats don't vote in primary elections. You have people of color who traditionally don't come out and vote in primary elections. My election is a primary election, but it really is not a primary because on June 5th, that decides who's going to be the district attorney. And so people have got to know there's power in your votes. Do not discount yourself or the power of your vote. Come out, vote, because we make the difference. Okay. All right. So vote. Um, When do they vote? What are the different ways that they can vote? And um, where do people follow you and support uh, Genevieve Jones Wright? So first off, register to vote if you haven't. And you can always register and well, now you can register day of and vote. You can do a mail-in ballot. You can now have your ballot turned in by 
anybody who can take your ballot. So now it doesn't have to be a close familial relationship or someone you live with. So they're making it very, very easy for folks to vote. You can support me, Jones Wright for DA 2018 by going to my website, www.joneswrightforda.com. That is F-O-R, not the number. J-O-N-E-S-W-R-I-G-H-T-F-O-R-D-A.com. There you can sign up to volunteer. There's a big red donate button. Even if you don't have a lot of money, I'm getting dollar donations. I'm happy to accept them. This is a people power campaign. So if you can't give a lot, just give what you can because you understand the change that's needed. Follow me on social media. I am on Twitter. I am on Instagram. I am on Facebook. Jones Wright, the number four DA is my Twitter handle. Also my handle for Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. Just go to Jones Wright for DA. You're going to love the videos I put up. I keep it real at all times. So follow me on social media.